why isn't my article ranking past page three? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you an honest answer. I have no friggin' idea. So I guess the um, the real question is here is uh, how, you how do I how do I rank? Or, yeah, or, or right. why why am I not ranking? Um, I believe this one was in our group as well. Tell me, let me go so ahead. Go ahead and say a little. I'll something, just Nick, jump in I, like yeah. real quick. So, uh, as far as basics go, you know, this being a a, a kind of newer newbier question, um, it's going to depend on a few variables mainly, which is on page factors and off page factors. You know, what are you doing with how you built the site? Is it friendly crawlable not not just to people but to crawlers themselves to google crawlers that's what we're trying to do whenever we're talking about search engine optimization we're speaking to the crawlers so not just you know how the site reads to people and then you know what kind of um backlink profile that you've got going maybe you don't have anything maybe your content isn't optimized maybe you're not using something like yoast or rank math um to speak to crawlers and so you know being such a broad question, it's hard to say, but it's going to be based on, you know, a handful of variables, which is on page and off page factors and how those relay to Google crawlers, you know, what's going on with your site. But if you've made it to page three, then you're doing well. Um, there is some level of trust there. A lot of people, if it's a newer site, would call this the sandbox phase. Um, you know, we're not too big on saying sandbox, but it's something that will help you kind of conceptualize what's going on. And, uh, yeah, depending on where your campaign is, maybe you need more backlinks, maybe you need to optimize content, um, and maybe just your competitors are far above you or, you know, just, just right above you. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is with not having any more details, it's a hard question to, to go further into. Yeah, it's, it's, you know. Maybe not the most uh, fun question for a lot of our viewers to listen to us talk about, but it's something that you see all the time, and um, mm -hmm. we definitely got to answer it. Um, so here's a little answer I wrote out for him uh, before. We can just go ahead and cover this stuff a little bit more in depth without you know trying to write a, an entire book, because the question is essentially how to do SEO, right? Um, but yeah, so I said we won't be able to answer the question without more information. Here's stuff you can look into. So number one, your content. Uh, does your article cover the topic fully? Um, you know, so you, you want to either use something like Surfer SEO, or you could go and look at some of the top ranking articles and just see, you know, you can look at things like content length. You can look at things like, uh, basically sections that they have that you might not have. Um, yeah, just all that stuff. So you just want to make sure that Google thinks that your content is quality and that you're covering it in a way that is consistent with other top rankers, uh, which will, you know, they obviously are already saying these, they think that's this content is good among other things like their backlinks. But, um, yeah, it's always good to look at the competition as far as the content goes. Something else I didn't really write for this one that, uh, could also talk about is, uh, matching search intent. Um, like for example, if someone types in, um, I was going to say like a dog toy, uh, like, are they looking? And so when you, when you look at the top ranking pages, is Google displaying things like, uh, like basically to learn about what dog toys are or, or is it more like buyer intent, like buy the best dog toy here? Um, so yeah, as far as. You know, you want to make sure your your content uh, covers the topic fully, and you also want to make sure your content uh, matches the search intent, um, which is pretty important. Do you have anything to add mm -hmm. as far as content goes? No, that uh, that about sums it up. I mean, like on a base level. Yep. Uh, next up, we got your on-page SEO. You know, is your is your article optimized correctly? Um, Again, not something we can cover fully here. Uh, we've got an article on it on the basics of it, yeah. um, which I, you know, is still pretty much like uh, what we use to this day. We're not like super. Uh, I just feel like on 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 page SEO is so easy, right? And it hasn't. I don't feel like it really has changed much at all. It's was, easy once you understand what matters, but yeah. previous to that, 
on page SEO is something where I remember as a newbie always being like, maybe I did it wrong. <laughs> However, now with stuff like Surfer SEO, um, you know, you can use a tool like that and get a lot better idea, especially from a newbie perspective of, oh, put everything in the green and it's going to help me um, yeah. to, to quite quite a good degree. I wish I had that when I first started SEO because when I first started in SEO, it was uh, do like 500 words of content and uh, that's usually okay. Um <laughs> And, you know, you'd had variations of spun content and garbage like that. Maybe you'd up it to like 750 to 1,000. It's It doesn't exist like that anymore. Um, For sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, do your own page. You got to – obviously, you need to – well, I guess maybe not obviously depending on who's asking this. But you need to optimize your content for the keywords. And, and this is things you can do like changing your title tag, maybe changing your – the inner page URL slug, changing your uh, your H1 and maybe your your other H tags, um, getting in um, you know your keyword and the keyword variations um, a decent amount of time in the content without keyword stuffing, you know, um, just stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, tools again like Surfer can help you out with that. Um, but also definitely check out our article on. Um, on-page SEO, which covers the basics, the, the most important things about on-page SEO. And that'll pretty much, I think, take you to where you really need to be as far as um, on-page. And number three is your backlinks, right? Um, which is the hardest part of the whole equation because anyone can look at top-ranking content and write similar content. Anybody can look at top-ranking content and optimize it in a similar way. Um, so, so these things are easy. Anyone can make changes to their own site and do these two things. The hardest mm -hmm. part is backlinks. You do not have control or you, theoretically, you're not supposed to have control over other sites linking to your website or your content and saying, this is a good source of information, right? So this is the hardest part of the equation. And, um, so, you know, generally people can do number one and number two by, uh, you know, reading a couple articles and figuring out how to do it. Then when it comes to number three, you're really going to have to put some work in um, as far as doing outreach yourself and, and, or, and, you know, to get things like edits, guest posts, editorial links, that kind of thing, as well as building the pillow links yourself. Um, or you're going to have to allocate some budget to it or build a team to do it. Um, yeah, it's either going to take a ton of time, a team or a budget to do the, the backlinks part. Um, and this is probably the thing that, you know, because anyone can do number one and number two, number three tends to be the thing that people are lacking on. And, you know, they're like, hey, I'm stuck on page three. Why can't I get on the page one? It's like, okay, well, your site, you know, you have 20 referring domains and they're all things like coupon codes um, that your site just got naturally over time. And then you look at the number one ranker and, hey, their site has, you know, 2,000 backlinks and they're actually pretty good. Um, so, you know, it's going to take quite some amount of work, um, either marketing your content and doing outreach or, you know, paying, uh, link building services such as ourselves to, to do the work for you. Um, but yeah, you know, mm -hmm. this is the basics. Uh, I don't think we really need to cover it more than that. Um, content on page backlinks, uh, just got to figure out, uh, what your problem is, right? Yep. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.